Learning more about a Kansas congressional candidate who was ticketed for refusing to take a breathalyzer. The Kansas Highway Patrol stopped Kevin Yoder for speeding in February of 2009. Chris Hernandez is here with more on what happened next. Chris. Morgan Elizabeth, these court documents show that Kevin Yoder pled guilty and paid $165 for a fine and court costs after refusing to take a breathalyzer. It happened during a traffic stop on K-10 near Lawrence about a year and a half ago, and many people think that refusing a breathalyzer means you'll lose your license. But there's a reason that didn't happen in this case. The Kansas Highway Patrol stopped congressional candidate Kevin Yoder on February 8, 2009 and gave him two tickets. A speeding ticket for going 80 and a 70 was later dismissed. To the other ticket, Yoder pleaded guilty for refusing to take a breathalyzer. But he didn't lose his license because he was refusing to take a preliminary breathalyzer in the field using a machine similar to this. It's probably accurate for telling whether someone's been drinking or not, uh, but it's really not accurate for getting a solid number. Lawyer Jeremiah Johnson and handles DUI cases and is not affiliated with any campaign. He says you'll lose your license automatically if you refuse to blow at the police station. But if you refuse to blow into a field tester, it's only a traffic violation. He says you can also refuse to take a field sobriety test, and again, it's only a ticket. If you are asked to take a preliminary breath test and refuse, it's a traffic ticket. Uh, it's... Uh not a moving violation. Yoder's campaign says he declined to take the breathalyzer because he had passed the sobriety test. Johnson questions that assertion. Officers will rarely tell you if you passed or not. Uh, you don't even know what they're grading on when they start grading. Johnson adds that most officers decide whether or not to arrest a driver for DUI based on several factors, not just the sobriety test or breathalyzer. Yoder was not arrested or charged with DUI. Yoder, a Republican, faces Democrat Stephanie Moore in the November general election. Chris Hernandez, NBC Action News.